Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Heaven, Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cũng muốn nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com để chết schedule. Now, for the first time in human history, our species is experiencing an ongoing extinction all around us. And the cause isn't a giant meteor or gamma ray burst, it's us. Signs of the Final Days, The Last Chance for Humanity to Change, Part 1 of 2. Please continue watching to find out more. Vegan. Jump on the wagon for the right destination. Assalamu alaikum means peace be with you in Caracal Pack. My name is Kwas. The spiritual residents of the Republic of Karakal, Pakistan, pray that humankind soon adopt a peaceful plant-based diet to ensure the sustainable and joyful existence of all beings. Welcome to part one of our two-part series, Signs of the Final Days. The Last Chance for Humanity to Change, Part 1 of 2 Around the world, more and more people are observing that humanity is at a crisis point. Put together, the COVID-19 pandemic, changing weather patterns, floods, droughts, wars, species loss, and crop failures all feel like an ominous warning that even bigger changes are coming to our planet. Scientists have been trying to warn humanity that climate change is now reaching an urgent stage at which it will begin to accelerate. Cambridge University scientists have recently warned that we should prepare for a significant loss of human life, with the extinction of humans being a real possibility. In this episode, we will look at events around the world that appear to be signs that we are in what is often called the final days. Are we nearing the time of the extinction of all human life on Earth? The extraordinary set of changes humans have caused to our planet is so far reaching that it has a name. We've caused so many changes to the planet so quickly that scientists have given this time period its own name. They're calling it the Anthropocene, or the Age of Humans. Like the Pleistocene and the Holocene, the Anthropocene represents a segment of the Earth's timeline. It includes things like the rise of fossil fuels as an energy source, the industrialization of agriculture, and the urbanization of more than half the world's population. We've caused a cascade of effects that have altered the landscape, the climate, the animals and plants around us, and even our own way of life. Some place the beginning of the Anthropocene at the start of the Industrial Revolution. Others think it began with the first atomic bomb detonation in 1945. Either way, we live at a time in which human activity is interfering with and altering the ecology of Earth. Humanity is consuming resources at an unsustainable rate, and that rate of consumption is continuing to increase. We have changed over 75% of the Earth's land mass by building cities and decimating forests and other ecosystems to create space for crops and grazing land. 
While the 8 billion people on the planet use more resources than the Earth produces, the 70 billion land animal people raised and killed each year for meat and dairy use even more. One of the most significant impacts has been on the Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the lungs of the Earth, much of which has been destroyed to clear space for cattle people to graze as well as grow crops for them to eat. The industrial operations to raise animal people use extraordinary amounts of water, fertilizer, and land, and they are destroying the planet in a multitude of ways. Of course, it makes sense that animal people in the wild would be the first to be affected by these changes to the planetary ecosystem. Planet Earth is 4.5 billion years old. The earliest complex life first appeared around 1 billion years ago. In the hundreds of millions of years since then, our planet has faced five major extinction events. From giant impactors to supervolcanoes to potential gamma ray bursts, the causes of each extinction have generally been apocalyptic single events. Now, for the first time in human history, our species is experiencing an ongoing extinction all around us. And the cause isn't a giant meteor or gamma ray burst, it's us. A mass extinction is defined as an event that kills off 75% of all species in less than 2.8 million years. The last major extinction event on Earth was about 65 million years ago, which killed off the dinosaurs. Just in time to get some very bad news. We are in the sixth mass extinction, and this time, we are the asteroid. The hard facts of life mean that even when things are going pretty well on Earth, there's a background rate of extinction. Among mammals, for instance, we'd expect to see one species go extinct every 700 years, or maybe one amphibian every 1,000 years. Studies of current extinction rates say that we are roughly 1,000 times past that. And in some groups like amphibians, they're disappearing 45,000 times faster than normal. With animal people dying because their ecosystems have been damaged or destroyed, it is only a matter of time before human beings feel the pressure from a planet that can no longer support life in the way it has been for so long. All species on this planet live in an interconnected web, with each species having a unique function in its own ecosystem. As we endanger species further, we only destroy the web of life. You see, every time a species goes extinct, everything around it becomes fragile. Every other species dependent on it gets endangered too. Scientists say this triggers a domino effect because we're all connected in the web of life. Extinction is not the only threat to our planet's ecosystems. The wildlife population on Earth is plummeting. The numbers are truly shocking. According to a new study, our world's wildlife population has declined 69% in just 50 years. From the oceans to the rainforests to the mountains, the Earth's wildlife population has plummeted everywhere. The steepest decline has been in Latin America and the Caribbean with a 94% drop in wildlife population size. In 48 years, Africa had the second largest fall at 66%. Asia and the Pacific come next at 55%, followed by North America at 20%, and Europe and Central Asia at 18%. The changes happening to our environment are occurring at such an enormous scale that they are quite difficult to comprehend. One of the most vivid and shocking warning signs is coming from Europe. European nations are experiencing a severe drought, as are many other countries around the world. However, the drought in Europe has revealed something unusual. An ominous message from the year 1616. The inscription reads, when you see this, weep. The boulders have reappeared in the river Elbe, which flows through the Czech Republic. The Czechs call them the hunger stones. 
and the drying river has revealed dozens of them. Shrinking rivers across Europe tell a similar story as a one in 500 year drought grips the continent. I am stood in about that deep of the Thames, 15 kilometres into it. I should be a lot wetter than I am right now. This is the flip side to Australia's third consecutive La Nina event. Hot, dry conditions touching nearly every other corner of the world, triggering wildfires from southern Europe to South America. <laughs> threatening crop failures in North Africa, Europe and California and jeopardising global food security. As California battles its worst drought in over a thousand years. Scary for a state responsible for as much as a quarter of the global supply of processed tomatoes. Despite escalating warnings about climate change, species loss, droughts and the risks they pose to humanity, few people seem willing to do anything about it. But you can. The plant-based diet is the easiest way to reduce the amount of stress you are causing to Mother Earth. So be a hero and go vegan. I arrived at the conclusion that veganism was my most ethical and responsible course of action. The Reverend Jenny Hewler, Vegan Thank you, loving viewers, for joining us today on Science of the Final Days, The Last Chance for Humanity to Change, Part 1 of 2. Please join us again on Wednesday, December 21st for part 2 of this series. Up next is Tidiness and Cleanliness Make Good Feng Shui, part 2 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples. May you always choose to be benevolent and live a meaningful life in God's grace. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.